Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about insulators. Insulators are the elements which provides necessary insulation between line conductors and supports or towers and thus prevents any leakage current from conductors to earth. The conductors of overhead transmission lines should be supported on the towers in such a way that current from conductors do not flow to earth through supports. The flow of current is prevented with the help of insulators. Properties of a good insulator It should be mechanically strong to bear the conductor load. Leakage current flows through insulator should be minimum. So, it must have very high insulated resistance. It should have high dielectric strength or high relative permittivity. It should be able to withstand over voltage and normal working voltage. High ratio of puncture strength to flash over voltage. It should be a perfect homogeneous material. It should be non-porous. It should not have any impurities like holes, cracks, etc. It should not be affected by the changes in the temperature. Types of insulators First we will discuss about pin type insulators. Pin type insulators are secured to the cross arm on the pole. The conductor is bounded into a groove on the top of the insulator. An adequate length of leakage path is obtained by providing insulator with two or three petticoats or rain sheds. These are so designed that even when outer surface of insulator is wet due to rain, sufficient leakage reactants is still given by the inner dry, dry surfaces. Pin type insulators are normally used for 11 kV, but it, cannot, it can also be used up to 33 kV for transmission and distribution. It is not desirable to use it above 50 kV as cost becomes more. Next, suspension type insulators. This type of insulators is otherwise called as disc or string insulators. As pin type insulators cannot be used for voltages greater than 50 kV. Suspension type insulators are used whose cast is less at high voltages. They consist of number of porcelain discs connected in series by metal links in the form of a string. Conductor is suspended at bottom end of string. Other end of string is secured to the cross arm of tower. The number of discs in series depends upon working voltage. Each unit or disc is designed for 11 kV. For 110 kV, it carries 7 or 8 discs. For 220 kV, it carries 13 or 14 discs. Next, strain insulators. These insulators are used to take the tension of the conductors at termination of the line and at angle positions where there is a change in direction of the line. For light low voltage lines, a shackle insulator is suitable, but for higher voltages, a string of suspension insulator is necessary. When tension in line is exceedingly high, as at long river spans, two or more strings are used in parallel. The discs of a strain insulator are same as suspension insulator except that they are in a vertical plane. Next, shackle insulators or spool insulators. In earlier days, shackle insulators were used as strain insulator. But nowadays, they are used for low voltage distribution lines up to 230 volts. Such insulators can be used either in horizontal position or in vertical position. They can be directly fixed to pole with a bolt or to the cross arm. The conductor in grow is fixed with a soft binding wire. Next, 
stay insulators or egg insulators the stay wire or gay wire is used to support the dead end poles and keep the poles in its position the insulator used in the gay wire is called a stay insulator the shape of this insulator is egg so it is called as egg insulator it is also used to avoid leakage current flows through the lower part of the gay next shack stack insulators nowadays these insulators are used for a voltage of 110 kv in this type the discs are arranged as a stack these type of insulators are easily to handle thank you